Hey everybody, Mr. Sands here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to do two things. Number one, how to use the Wacom Intuos tablet that I just recently received through the math department. Um, maybe this will show other people how to use it, and maybe this will inspire some other people to find funds uh, to, to get one of these for themselves within their own departments, because they're really cool. This is what it looks like. It's a little drawing tablet. Uh, it includes a pen, and there is the cord, which goes directly, it's a USB cord into the computer. Um, the other thing that I'm going to show you is Google Jamboard, which I just recently discovered. Uh, it's a Google product, so it's going to work seamlessly with everything that we've got. And it's just basically a free online whiteboard capability to use with your Intuos tablet um, to help teach online, to annotate on screen, to, to draw things out. Um, since I'm teaching a math class this year again, uh, I thought that it would be really easy, really fun to be able to do that because I can draw with my mouse, but it's kind of funky, it's not as efficient. Uh, I could do it with a document camera on paper, but when I do it digitally, it saves it. I can easily, you know, pass it out to students, uh, put it on my Google Classroom for resources for parents to find. It just, it's a lot easier if you can keep everything digital. And this is actually kind of what I was doing when I was teaching math a couple years ago. I just had a smart board in the classroom, so I was doing it digitally in the classroom, and now I'm doing it digitally on a tablet um, remotely. So let me show you how this works. So first thing, I'm gonna go to Google Jamboard. And the first thing that comes up is this. And it's basically just kind of showing you some things you can do with Jamboard. Um, I haven't read through all this, but I found this through one of the thousands of videos that educators are putting out there showing, hey, this is something that I'm using. I discovered this. Maybe you can try it. So this is me relaying this to you. So get started with Jamboard. You'll see that I have one right here that's made in my Google account at school. Um, it's just the example one. So let me pull it up and show you. So this is what it is. It's a blank slide that you can draw on. So uh, I have hooked up the tablet. Uh, there was a little driver that I had to download and install from their website. And then it was a matter of registering the product. So it's all good. And then, then it's pretty easy. So you notice that here's the pen I have in my hand and I am just hovering the pen over the tablet and you see I can mouse, mouse over, and then if I touch the pen tip to the tablet, if I'm on the pen, because right now I'm on the arrow selection, so if I move over to the pen, tap, I select, and now I'm on pen, but I think I've figured out marker's a little darker. So you've got a couple different things, you've got pen, marker, highlighter, paintbrush, and you've got different colors here, so if we do a pen in black, it looks like that. If we do a marker in blue, a little bit thicker. If you do a highlighter in yellow, and then a brush in red, it's very light. So those are the options that you can play around with. Um, and this is a cool thing, I can just clear the frame instantly. Boom, clear frame. Um, what's also cool is you've got a choice of background here. So you can go plain, you can go dots if you need a little more guidance there. You can go uh, lined, uh, you can go a grid, you can go a gray grid, you can go dark blue, or you can go chalkboard black. Preference is up to you. I'm actually gonna go with dots right now because it's a little bit of a learning curve and you're gonna see me, you know, not as slick as I probably can be with practice uh, because you, you're looking at your screen, but you're writing on the tablet. So we all have this skill because you can write fairly straight. Um, you know, think back to the days in college when you were probably looking at a projector screen or an overhead screen, or you were looking at something, but you were writing on your paper. You don't, your eyes don't have to be glued to your paper to know what you're writing. And it's a skill that takes practice. So it, this is kind of a similar type of skill. Um, but what I'm gonna show you is I'm just gonna started here. So I'm going to get black and go marker and I'm looking at the screen. I'm not looking at the pad. And there you go. And if I want to underline the whole thing pretty straight across, not too bad. So I'm going to show you how to do a 
math problem on here and we can have multiple slides of the Jamboard open because this is going to be you know somewhat of an uh, intensive uh, math problem and I'll speed this up so you don't have to see me work in real time because you guys know how to do algebra. Uh, but I might reuse a part of this video to show my students that. So I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone here as I'm making this video as well. So again, I'm going to clear frame. And I'm going to say, okay, students, we're going to do a problem from the homework. Uh, I want you to graph the following function, f of x equals x squared minus 7. So graph f of x equals x squared minus 7. And then what I want you to do is um, I'm going to add a picture here. So I've already made a blank graph image. So I'm kind of trying this out in real time. Let's see if it works here. I'm going to add an image uh, from upload from my device. And I think I saved it on my desktop. Blank graph. Now this should load up. Boom, there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to mouse over. And I'm going to maybe just make this a little bit bigger. So it's a little easier to work with here. So this is just a blank, um, you know, Cartesian plane. I have one through 10, I have X and Y axis. I will even attach this blank PNG file um, to this email that I'm sending out because that's another resource that math teachers can use um, or anybody when you're looking at that. So the way that the homework is laid out is you have two uh, rows here. We've got our X and we have our F of X and they're doing negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. So I think I can squeeze it here. Negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. So they're saying, if you take negative two, what is f of x? If you take negative one, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, you see, I don't have a lot of room to do basically five math problems on here and, you know, this is probably what I would be doing in class. I would be asking students to, to work this out on paper. We'd be working on it on the board. We would be doing some math here, writing it out. But you see up here, I can just go to a new frame. So I've got x squared minus seven. I'm gonna maybe do one or two problems on each frame. So let's try negative two first. So new frame, uh, maybe get my guides on there. Uh, f of x equals x squared minus seven. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and work through these. This is where I'm gonna use the magic of movie editing to speed this up. I'm just gonna work through all of these and input the numbers on there, and it's gonna look like, you know, maybe 20 seconds. So here it goes. Okay, so I've solved uh, f of negative two, f of negative one, f of zero, f of one, and f of two. So now I have each of those numbers. So I've got negative three, negative six, negative seven, negative six, negative three. So now I can input those. And since I have the graph on here, I don't have to draw it out. It's not gonna look you know, really crappy. It's gonna look decent because this uh, grid is to scale um, and it's you know a 10 by 10 everything's nice and on there so let's go ahead and stick with blue so I've got a point of negative 2 negative 3 so I go negative 2 over negative 3 down okay not perfect not to scale but you see at least I've got the points on here and this is at, at this point within early algebra um, this is what I would be looking for that they have a graph on here that has these points, maybe even labeling the points. Um, so there we go. There's Google Jamboard, and that is kind of a basic lesson of using the Wacom Intuos tablet.
Uh, this thing is awesome. I haven't even scratched the surface of all the things you can do on here. Uh, I literally just plugged it in, downloaded the driver, and it's working pretty well right now. Um, there are buttons on the pen that you can you know, right click or undo. Uh, there are four buttons on here that you can you know, make your right click or undo. Um, whatever you're kind of finding that you're using the most in your workflow, as you do this more and more, you can adjust that. So I look forward to maybe personalizing my setup here and becoming even more efficient in terms of creating these kinds of things. But you see, I've also made a Jamboard and then I can do a couple things here. I can share this, you know, with whoever. Um, I could copy the link and I think I can also, this is saved in my Google Drive, so I could put this Jamboard on a Google Classroom assignment or on a Google Classroom um, topic uh, so that, hey, here's, hey class, here's how I worked out problem number one from the homework. This is kind of what my expectations are to see. I want to see the problem. I want to see your um, setup here. I want to see you actually making a graph. Uh, and then I want to see all of your math worked out here with your final answer circled. So there we go. Hopefully this has been helpful, and I hope that uh, those of you who have one of these already can play around and have some fun. And if not, if you don't have one in your hands and your department has some money or there's some extra money around, then you know maybe we can get these in the hands of some more teachers here at UMS this year for remote learning because I think that this is going to be a game changer in terms of uh, doing stuff on your computer um, and making it feel like a whiteboard or an overhead projector or a document camera in the classroom. Doing things digitally is just going to save a lot of steps in terms of doing it, sharing it, and saving it, and then share, uh, I already said sharing it, sharing it with uh, all stakeholders involved. Thanks guys. Peace out. See you later.